birthday then. <laughs> so my name is Carlos Suarez and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Trucks. Some of you may have heard of us, but for those of you who haven't, the easiest way to think about what it is that we do at Trucks is to think Uber meets you, meets you all. So instead of moving you, we move your stuff. In fact, we're so good at moving stuff that we have a full partnership with Sears and Kmart to deliver in their stores nationwide. Next month, we'll be rolling out a partnership deal with a network of consignment locations that include thousands of consignment stores across the nation to deliver for them. And we are beginning our relationship with Walmart, TJ Maxx, HomeGoods, RentTrack, and Lowe's. Sears loved the pilot that we did with them so much that they're now offering Sears rewards for their customers that use trucks. They're also offering driver perks for our drivers as discounts for their auto services at their Sears auto centers. On top of that, Sears is committed to trucks to deliver 12,000 moves in the first year of our partnership. So we have had some media uh, attention, including being featured on a primetime television show that was a kind of like a startup competition show. So we solved one of the most, one of the problems that's most common amongst almost everybody in this room. Whenever you try to move something or buy something that's too big to fit in your vehicle, and even with the prevalence of online shopping and places like Amazon, over 80% of large household items are still bought in person or at retail outlets. Let's say you have something that's too big to move, too big to fit in your car. You simply launch our app or go to our website and request a truck. One of our trusted drivers will come out to you, help you load it, and take it to your preferred drop-off location. All of our drivers undergo DMV and criminal background checks and are GPS tracked while on the platform. For now, to keep insurance costs low, we only transport items and not people, but our insurance does cover any lost or broken goods. Our pricing is pretty simple, so if you need us for less than a half hour, it's $39. If you need us for an hour or two, you get to choose whether you need help from the driver loaded, which is $35 every half hour, or if you have all the muscle in the world and you just need transportation, you can get it for as low as $25 per half hour. Our business model is purely transactional at the moment. We take 30% of the fare. Driver keeps 70% of the fare plus tips and tolls. Our average fare is between $80 and $90. And while we do have some competition in our space that validates the market need that we fill, we also have a brand and a product that has proven to beat our competition in some key areas. When we started Trucks, we thought people would use it in the way that we imagined, which was as a much more convenient uh, solution to traditional truck rental. And for the most part, they do. But we quickly found out that over a third of our pickups were being uh, picked up at retail locations, big box stores, and small businesses. We believe with the proper investment and partnerships, we can tap into this $8 billion industry. So we've been able to accomplish all of this and get these key partnerships on a bootstrap budget and with some innovative and creative tactics. We're now searching for a million dollar raise so that we can fuel those tactics, create new partnerships, and turn into a billion dollar New York brand. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. I mean, just on average, how long would it typically take if you're out getting a, an appliance to find one of your yeah, that's a great question. So how long would it take if for you from searching for a driver to get a driver to pick up? Um, and it really depends on what city. So for example, in New York City, we prefer two hours because even though the distances are short, there's lots of traffic and weather can affect that traffic really badly. 
But if you're in Tampa, Florida, we've done moves in as little as 20 minutes. We're over there. So we, we, that's a good question, how many drivers do we have? We have thousands of drivers that signed up. Active drivers, meaning drivers that have passed background checks or completed their profile, is around uh, 3,000 nationwide. Yes? How did you get your message out there to be able to go nationwide? Yeah, that's, a, that, that's part of the creative tactics. We got our message out there. So. Um, First of all, I was the first driver. I sold my sedan and bought a truck, and I just got on Facebook groups in Syracuse, we're based out of Syracuse, and just started posting, just started posting on Facebook uh, garage sale groups, uh, you know, trucks, your buddy with a truck, or, uh, you know, that vintage Craigslist find, it's only two feet longer than your car, right? So we would post these funny creative ads, and people would start booking it, and then unfortunately, <laughs> I had to be the one moving refrigerators in the rain for a while, right? But after a while, we started getting drivers to sign up, and then drivers actually we acquired through Instagram. So we would, I would go on Instagram and look up uh, hashtag Long Island Trucks, hashtag Brooklyn Trucks, and people that own pickup trucks love them like their children, so they just post pictures all the time of their truck. <laughs> so. When they would see these hashtags and our ads come up, they would click on it, go to the website, and sign up. 